<laughs> I mean, that looks kind of cute. Whoa, it's coming apart. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. Today, I'm gonna be recreating a tree that I saw at the Findery in Waco. It looks kind of like this, it doesn't look kind of like this. It looks like this because it's a picture of, that's a picture of it. So that's what I'm trying to recreate. However, I do not have the same type of wood and stuff like that, but I did find these wood squares at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I can't remember how many it's in there, I think five or six. So gonna use those and then the wood planks they also have these like plank shape but the plank is not as wide as the wood square so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these together first and I'm gonna be using this Elmer's wood glue max and I'm also gonna be using some hot glue for an immediate hold I'm gonna glue these together like this this side over here then I'm gonna put this little plank thing in the middle then glue the top because if I try to measure and figure out, it's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna start out with these six squares and I'm gonna position them how I think they should go. And I, I want to be sort of, I wanna be sort of scientific as far as like, I want them the same distance apart, but I'm trying to find my ruler. Found my ruler. So I'm going to position it maybe one inch and put my glue there. Should I mark it? I probably should mark it. Of course I want it to matchy match so I need to do the same on this side. Wait. Now that I've marked on the squares where I want to glue, I'm just going to put some dots of glue there and then I'm going to put some little dabs of hot glue and then we're going to put it together. <laughs> we're going to hope that this works. I think it works but I think it's going to work fine except I put on a little bit too much glue just then but that's okay. And then a couple dabs of the hot glue for an immediate hold. Voila! It worked. I mean, you know, why wouldn't it have worked? I was like, I don't see where I put my mark. And I'm trying to be careful to do this, do this good the first time. Again, scooch this around. There. Now I'm gonna let that dry for a second, work on the second batch, because you know, I got two sides, one side's done. Put on some more wood glue. All right. Now in theory, both sides should be the same height and they're not. Well, <laughs> uh, see, this is why I don't do science or math. It's like, I mean, there's a, you know, but you know what? We're going to, we're just going to go for it because it just is what it is. I measured. How did I mess that up? Are they not all like a perfect square? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going for it. So now I'm gonna take this wood plank, and again, got it from the Dollar Tree, gonna put that in the middle, and that's gonna help me know where these should meet. So <laughs> in, theory, in theory, it's gonna be, it's a tree shape. You guys get what's happening here. So it's not like I have to explain that it's a tree shape. Oh wait, I don't have it. You know what, here's one thing I just did notice. I didn't have both sides sticking out at the same you know, distance or whatever. I mean, okay. So the slats are overlapping on top and I had it turned around. So I just fixed that because that would have annoyed me and I would have had to start, not over, but I would have had to redo that part. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some daubs of wood glue right here. I'm gonna put some hot glue, then set it up and just hold it for a second and hope for the best because I don't know, no, I just, that's gonna get, so make sure I have it facing the way that I want to. Both sides overlapping on the outside. I'm gonna put the glue down and then glue them together. Okay, I got it. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. It's not that hard. Either. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling like I'm gonna mess something up. Put some wood glue. Here's the moment of truth, you guys. I'm gonna put these two. See, I was almost gonna mess up. Overlapping on the outside. Put these right here. Okay. Okay. So now we, we're to this point. So I'm gonna set this carefully down because it's dry, you know, ish, but the wood glue has not obviously fully, fully dry. So I'm gonna put some wood glue on the corner, wood glue on the corner, and some more dobs of hot glue, and I'm gonna hope for the best. Or no, I'm gonna do it like this. Cause should I put it on the end? Because I'm really gluing it to the 
like the end of the board. You know, if I do it like that, it'll be, it'll be fine. It'll, it's gonna be fine. Wow, didn't say I was a professional, but I saw this and I thought, oh, that looks so cute. I love it. And I thought, I have the wood planks at home. This would be easy to recreate in theory. So I'm gonna put some hot glue. Y'all cross your fingers, everything like that. Now we're gonna stick these on, gooping out a little bit there, but we're gonna be okay. Okay, the gooping out a little bit, okay. Whoa, maybe fix that later, Lisa. All right, so now I have the tree shape. This is essentially what I was gonna do, just this tree shape, maybe I should. No, we're good there, okay, good. I was just trying to see if it was ooping, gooping out on the bottom. This tree, that I saw at the Findery in Waco, Texas. Hey guys, thanks for the inspo. That tree was, let me pull it back up, $24. And so far this has cost me about two, aside from the glues, which I already had. So <laughs> pretty big savings there. But this one had, and again, I don't know if you can see it, but it had this like little shape under it that it was like perched upon. And I thought all I could, I, what I could do is, cut this into thirds, like again, I'd have to measure. We all know how that might work out, but, and then I could just like, you know, glue the one part here, one part here and set that under there. And that would be the base. And then it would look like the one in the findery. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to go to my miter saw and just, well, I'm going to measure. Let's measure first. So these are approximately seven inches. See, it doesn't have to be <laughs> seven divided by three equals two. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> because I don't wanna have to work, count these little hashtags, uh, hashtags, these little line marks, these little hash marks. I'm just gonna do a two inch thing and another two inch thing. And then what's left is gonna be the bottom part because y'all, math is hard. I don't, I'm just not good at that. So know your strengths know what your strengths are and just go with that so i'm gonna create a line and then create another line watch them not be level i mean like perfect but that's okay i'm gonna go cut these really quick we're down to the last part but i just noticed that the glue is drippy drippy up in here and also um it's a little messy right here so if you're gonna try this project at home maybe be aware of that. But also, if you come to my house and you see this, don't look. That's all I'm saying. We cut this, and I say we cut this because I went to go cut it, Marvin came home, and then I said, these just need to be two inches. And then he said, did you account for the, the width of the blade? Again, that's, no, I did not. No, I did not. To answer your question, no, I did not. So what I think I'm gonna do is put just a really little bit of wood glue here and glue these to the sides like that. And then I'm gonna glue the top. We're gonna glue it all together. But we're gonna try to keep in mind the drippy drippy situation. So hopefully a lot less wood glue, a little bit on each side. I'm just gonna put some hot, well, little dab. Little dab will do you. Just don't wanna put too much and then it's gonna drip again. I just don't want it drippy drippy. A little wonky. <laughs> oh, guys. Uh, I don't know. There. <laughs> and now Captain is coming in to supervise for us. I want to push down like a little bit. Hey. I mean, that looks kind of cute. Whoa, it's coming apart. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Spoke too soon. All right, how about we just let that set for a little bit? All right, y'all, so this is how the tree turned out. I think it looks pretty cute. I think it looks similar to the one that I saw at the Findery in Waco. Maybe not an exact replica. And there are some things that I would change if I did this project again. Like I would make sure that the glue and the, the stuff didn't run, it didn't ooze out as much. But overall, I think it looks pretty cute and I'm excited to put it on my mantle with my other trees. I will just glue, hot glue, a star on the top. I just think it looks a little plain. Maybe it doesn't even need the star. So if you don't like the star, don't add the star, but I'm gonna add the star. 
So as you can see, adding the star to the top really doesn't do a whole lot. That's why I thought, well, if I did like this, you know, greenery, that would kind of pop off. And I really do kind of like it, like when I'm seeing it on the camera. I do kind of like that, but I can't get this to be in the shape of a star where it's like a recognizable shape of a star. So I could just make it like a circle, like a wreath to put a wreath on top. Or maybe I could just do a jingle bell or something because that might be, I don't know, kind of cute. I just kind of like the pop of color. Or I could even do some greenery just down the edge here. But I feel that kind of takes away from what I created. So I'm just gonna leave a star. Let me know if you guys do any variations of this and what your thoughts are. Did you like the greenery? Did you not? Should I put a wreath? Should I put a bell? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.